Hello my soccer universe! I'm not gonna do a full Serie A recap because there's one more game. Milan beat Verona, Roma beat Spezia, the two are still level. There will be a playoff. I'm gonna do the video on the last round in Italy after that one so that we can properly summarize and put a cap on the season. However, there's one thing that I want to talk about before we go into, uh, before I do videos on Spain and Germany. And that is, of course, the big goodbye, as they call it, of Zlatan yesterday at the San Zero. And I want to talk a little bit about Zlatan because um, of the three superstars that we had this century, arguably I'm talking, of course, Messi, Ronaldo and Zlatan, he's in a way the forgotten one. However, on the other side, while there are are two criticisms that, that, that you can hand at Zlatan. First one being that in knockout games he rarely showed up. He was always more like a flat track bully that scored a lot of goals against smaller teams but that's exactly what you need if you want to win a league title. So I, I don't want to necessarily count it against him but you know he never won a Champions League. He never even came close and even uh, for the Swedish national team uh, the few times he was in a knockout phase he never really showed up either. And there were not that many times there. So he was always more a moments player than one that is lifting a team to ultimate uh, glory in a knockout tournament. However, if you want to win a league title, Slatan was there. Slatan was always there. The other one is that, and I don't fault, fault, fault him for that. I think he's an incredibly smart guy and he deserves everything that he earned. But earning, he also did follow the money a little bit. He, for most of the part of the career, he was more of, you know, um, a guy that you recruit, but that he, he doesn't have any loyalty to a particular club. He was very well, well aware of what he wanted to do and with his partner, Mino Raiola, his part, partner in crime, he, of course, uh, knew uh, had the right partner to get this and to get a lot of money out, out, out of it. And I think of the three superstars, I would not be surprised if Zlatan is the one who has the most dough. That, uh, he, he was always very, very inventful. But those things I want to pull to put aside because for me it is time to celebrate Zlatan. Because while I've said that he always followed for the money, when he left Milan the first time, I always felt it was a little bit incomplete. He went to PSG because they started this new project with the Qataris. And with him arriving, I always started to issue some odd, if not awful, jerseys, to be honest. So um, it felt incomplete. Because Milan had just, and I still maintain, they had thrown away this league title uh, in 11-12. And when he left, Milan went down the hill. And when he returned, he not only wanted to prove himself, he found a project. And yes, he probably could have joined Napoli at that point. Uh, and I don't know whether it was uh, Angelotti or it was uh, De Laurentiis who kind of declined it. And then he had only the option Milan. And I made a video back then. I would not mind because he was exactly the player that Milan needed. A winner, a proven winner with a large uh, personality that can take on all the criticism upon himself and with the winning spirit that he can move into, onto a squad that was reeling, badly, badly reeling at this point. Now, I always liked Slatan even before he joined Milan, even when he played for Inter. I still liked him. I was very pleased when he joined Barcelona um, that this did not work out. Yeah, I shows also he was also a very much individual and in Guardiola teams, individuals, um, yeah, let's say not as much liked because you need to be part of the, of the system and he famously had a big um, controversy with Guardiola. So uh, that aside, but I was half happy when I even congratulated my Barca uh, supporting brothers that uh, you made yourself a great deal here by sending a toe to Inter and having Zlatan. Well, did not quite work out. But then when Zlatan came to Milan, I said, finally! Because already when he played with Ajax and he played against Milan in that uh, Champions League winning season, he was really, really good. The moment that he announced himself on the stage 
for me was when he scored this equalizer, this ridiculous equalizer against Italy at Euro 2004, a goal that actually moved Sweden on and eliminated Italy, but also put him on the map in Italy. Made a good goal into Juventus, and when Juventus fell apart, he then went, of course, to uh, Inter, where he all the seasons he won league titles, because that's what Slatan did. And again, it is because he kept. Scoring and he, especially against small opponents, his teams never let up there. And that's what that's the base you need to win a league league title. He only broke exactly in his last season, the first stint at Milan. Then there, that's where his uh, incredible league winning streak broke. So yeah, uh, there he was already great. When he was at Milan, I was so much happy for him. I actually saw him. Uh, for the first time playing and the, the other two superstars I have haven't seen a stadium but he played at the Audi Cup with Milan against uh, Bayern and within five minutes he had scored a goal of course Bayern was a way better team at, at a point and was lucky that this went to penalties but that's why this George is young and when they then beat Arsenal in the Champions League 4-0 uh, at San Zero this was kind of the time and yeah I needed to get this jersey as well I got both of them then at the same time uh, I was totally in for Slatan. He was even so that even my wife actually started recognizing him. And she, he, I think he's still the one player that she recognizes most. I was heartbroken when he left. I cannot tell you how happy I was that when he came back. And yes, his time at PSG, he lifted that squad. I'm not sure he did much at United because of in, in injury. He definitely put MLS on, on on the map. He was by far the best player to ever play in, in MLS. Uh, there is no doubt about it. However, uh, he also could not win uh, MLS Cup, of course. But he delivered my favorite Slater moment. And I, th I think if you just from this time watched he, all his appearances at late night, at Nigel's, they are just hilarious. Hilariously good and hilariously funny. But my favorite part is when he got there and he took out the whole page ad, I think in Los Angeles Times, and said, Dear Los Angeles, you're welcome, Slatan. Wonderful. But to me, his coming back to Milan, that was, I made a video, I want him, I want him. And we got him. And he got the winning spirit back to Milan. There's no doubt about it. Yes, it helps when a Maldini, a club, I, I can say, but it needed someone in the squad. This was a young squad, timid squad, shaking up squad. Uh, they had a coach in Pioli that I think was the right coach at the right time. However, they did not get, get going. Even Slatan came the first few months, it was not. Uh, when the Corona break came, I don't know what happened, but Slatan was there and Slatan had them training hard. I'm pretty sure because his work ethic and his professionalism is unquestioned, absolutely unquestioned. And yes, they came back and they were a force. They were suddenly, the, uh, for over the entire year of 2020, they were the best team in Italy ever since Corona started. It did not work out the next season quite for the title, but it was in a second place finish and a return to the Champions League, which was already way more than Milan had experienced. And then he pushed them through to the title, breaking the goal scoring record at that point for most goals scored and um, also then breaking for in club and then also becoming this season the oldest goal scorer. But for me, the second most famous moment is, of course, his speech after they won the title in Sassuolo when he flips the table and we said, we are now, we are now Italy. We, are, we have won it because the whole Italy is now Milan. This was his crowning moment for me. Because this was the one time where he didn't join a team that was on the top and he could uh, just be the cherry on top of it. No, this was a team that had he had to put up. And while in the run-in, he was not a big factor because of injury. And that's also the reason this injury. He gave it his all there. I mean, he shattered his knee right, right there. And that's why he, he couldn't play on any, any, anymore, especially this season. But he laid the groundwork that this team could win. And that is, was so refreshing to see. And I am still mad that the referee denied him the goal uh, to make it 4 0 at Sassuolo because of an offside marginal one. I, I would have let that stood because this was his moment. He came on, 
to celebrate and I, this smile and then it was taken it, it was taken away from him. but you know Slatan sometimes things are taken away from him yes yeah, so the ceremony was really 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 emotional i really liked how they say the got by and yes you may say what what you want about his brash personality i personally love it he is living up and he's backing it up up he's backing it up as well and he was sitting there in San Siro uh, ahead of the game and the fans chanting, making a choreography, got by Zlatan. Uh, there's only one Zlatan Ibrahimovic fully there. You could see the tears in his eyes as he's sitting next to his wife. And then uh, after, after the game, once Verona was safe, because he had to wait for that, that there was a little bit too much tension in, in there. Everything was kind of relieved and then you could he could walk up. There was a guard of one of the players, all with Ibrahimovic jerseys uh, on. And they got a jersey from Maldini. It was, you know, you could see he was taken. And then uh, he took to the uh, to the microphone, addressed the crowd, say, you know, it's a whole lot of a lot of emotions are going through. And that he first came here. To find a team, and then the second time he he, he came here, and uh, this really hit him the in the heart. That he's a Milan fan forever. S take that what he, you want to say about that. Um, he's, a, he's a Milan fan forever. I surely hope so because I think these last three years, and especially the way he treated the squad at the beginning, where you could see he was the father of the team, Pioli and him. They were kind of doing this together. Um, and then uh, he made the famous words that it's time to say goodbye to culture. And I, on purpose, say now culture, not football. But it's not good uh, time to say goodbye to you. I think for me, this leaves many things open, because culture. You can say if he says goodbye to football, this means he's he is he's, he's right. But if he's not saying goodbye to culture, this means he's probably leaving just Italy. Maybe he's gonna play in Sweden or somewhere again. Who knows? And the second one is, well, he's not saying goodbye to the Milan fans. Does this mean now that in spirit he's really staying with Milan or is he actually taking a position at Milan? Or is he going into Mino Raiola's agency? That, for me, are the two open questions. But yeah, it was emotional. I cried a few tears. I'm still, I'm, I'm happy that he got this send off. Maybe not the, quite the one that I would have really wished for him, but he got a good send off. He could really, really, and here is me saying, Mille grazie, Slatan. Mille, mille, mille gra grazie for, um, and now we can say it. I mean, before I, I would have said, if there's one team I attach to him, it was maybe PSG, but now I think it is Milan that I attach him with. And there's a very strong emotional connection. Thank you for bringing back life to my club. Thank you a thousand, a thousand times for that. I wish you all the best and I hope you stay in the game. And with that, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.